Hello, my name's Liam. Uh, it's actually a family name. Uh, my grandfather was called Liam. My dad was called Liam. I'm Liam. And I think my sister's in the audience. Hey, Liam. <laughs> I'm named after my dad, but I'm not Liam Jr. And I always wondered why. I found out he called something else. He's Liam Jr. <laughs> so keeping family tradition, I decided to name my dick Liam the Third. <laughs> um, I don't get why parents name their kids after themselves, because it's really fucked up when you think about it. Because your parents have fucked. <laughs> And since I have an older sister, they've fucked more than once. <laughs> so my mum has done two things. One, and I quote, Oh Liam. <laughs> oh Liam. <laughs> oh my God. Liam. <laughs> and the second thing. Hmm, I really want Liam's dick inside me. <laughs> How's the concussion going? <laughs> well, I think about your parents having sex is a real weird thing though. Um, and the further you go back the weirder it gets, have you ever seen your grandmother eat a banana? Um, I recently got engaged. Yes, I'm 22 so people say I'm too young but you know, they're like, you're too young, you're going to ruin your life. But isn't that the point? <laughs> we're going to end one or two ways. One, we break up. Either we're going to end badly, or she'll catch me fucking her mum. <laughs> it's okay, she won't catch us. Or two, one of us are going to die. And judging by tonight, it's probably going to be her. <laughs> um, my fiance is actually a twin, and if anyone's ever dated a twin would know that the twin threesome is the number one goal of everyone's mind. It's the pinnacles, what we want to do. Unfortunately for me, her twin's a man. <laughs> and that wouldn't be much of an issue, but I have a terrible gag reflex. <laughs> My mum said if I can't do it right, don't do it at all. No, actually, her twins are female. Um, they're roughly the same age. And people go to me, Liam, how can you tell them apart? It's quite easy. One's phenomenal in bed, and the other one's my fiancé. But being engaged is fantastic. I highly recommend it. Um, things I used to do by myself when I was 16, I have, now I have something to do it for me. Like, the dishes. Wait, not like that. No, because I love to cook, so she does the dishes. Sorry, wait, no. Um, I actually do the dishes as well. But cleaning the house? No, so again, I clean the house. But spending money? We both save money equally. No, so again, she works and I spend all the money. I'm the worst girlfriend ever. Um, I've, recently just turned, I've recently just turned 22, so I was 21 for about a year. And... <laughs> But I feel like I'm going through my midlife crisis already, which is really scary. Because that means I'm going to be dead at 44. <laughs> but, um, to my unfortunate note, I had a brother who died when he was two. So he went through his midlife crisis when he was one. <laughs> my mum said he would never stop crying. <laughs> but I remember being a kid, it was so fantastic, you know. You go to the shop, you see things on specials like lollies, and you're like, Mum, lollies are on special. Mum, soft drinks aren't special. And she'll just look at me and be like, no. Funny now that I'm an adult, it's, Liam, I don't want to go into a retirement home. No. <laughs> but yes, I love going shopping now that I'm an adult. I love sales, I love bargains. Just the other day, I bought five cucumbers. I fucking hate cucumbers. <laughs> but I love a bargain. And a few weeks ago, I bought two packs of extra large condoms. I don't know what you're thinking. You're engaged. So you're not having sex. 
Worst blue balls I've ever had in my life. And speaking of balls, and not for the last time tonight, the Australian cricket team. Yeah. What a bunch of wankers. Yeah. Like, out of any sport, really, cricket is cheap. What a wussy, wussy sport to cheat in. I get rugby players, and I get football players. They're manly, they're masculine. You know, I saw Marcus Montempelli walking down the street the other day, and I wanted to fuck him. <laughs> With my bad gag reflex. <laughs> but cricketers? Really? Have you ever seen a cricketer walk up to a girl in a nightclub like, say, yeah, I bat in a lauder. I'm in the slips. And I bowl medium. And the girl would just be like, mmm, I want your baggy green. <laughs> And the only thing I'm happy about is that they cheated in a big game, you know. The third test in South Africa is the biggest game in Australian cricket. That's not like the Ashes or the World Cup or anything. No, third test in South Africa. You know what the worst thing about it is? We lost by 300 fucking runs. <laughs> and when you think of other teams that cheated, like when Essendon cheated, you know, when they gave it a shot, um, they... <laughs> I got it well done, so thank you. <laughs> uh, they tried to win the premiership. They failed epically, but at least they tried. Um, when the mum storm cheated years ago, they won two premierships out of it. They got it taken away, but they won two premierships. But they're cricketers. They made it so obvious. And having sandpaper against the ball, such a stupid thing. 16-year-old me could have told him, having sandpaper against your balls is a terrible idea. <laughs> it's painful. It's hard work. Now, I just get my fiance to do it. <laughs> Thank you very much.